Today we are going to analyze this beam using slope deflection method. Before analyzing, let us see the beam on time. In this beam, there are two spans, span AB and span BC. Also, there is an overhanging span CD. In the span AB, there is a point load 72 kN acting in the center. In the span BC, there is a uniformly distributed load 24 kN per meter acting for the full span. In the overhanging span CD, there is a point load 15 kN acting in the point D. In the point A, there is a fixed support. In the point B and in the point C, there are hinged supports. Span AB is 4 meter long. Span BC is 5 meter long. The overhanging span CD is 2 meter long. In this beam, totally we have to find 5 moments. In the fixed support, there will be a moment. Here, the moment is MAB. In the joints, there will be 2 moments. In the joint B, there are 2 moments MBA and MBC. In the joint C also, there are two moments, MCB and MCD. So, totally we have to find five moments. Also, we have to find three reactions, RA, RB and RC. In the slope deflection method, we have to check the number of supports in which slope can occur let us see the conditions. In the fixed support, there will be no slope. In the hinged support, there will be slope. In the roller support also, there will be slope. In this beam, in the point B and in the point C, there are hinged supports. So, the number of supports in which slope can occur is 2. In the point B, there is theta B. And in the point C, there is theta C. If we calculate these two unknowns, we can easily find the final moments. To find out these two unknowns, we need two equilibrium equations. The equilibrium equations can be made in the joint B and in the joint C. In the joints, the summation of the moments will be zero. In the joint B, there are two moments, MBA and MBC. When we add these two moments, it will be zero. Also, in the joint C, there are two moments, MCB and MCD. When we add these two moments, it will be zero. In the joint C, we can easily calculate MCD because after the point C, there is overhanging. To find MCD, we have to calculate the moment in the point C from the point D. In the overhanging span, there is a point load 15 kN and the distance of overhanging is 2 meter. When we multiply this 15 with the distance 2, we will get MCD. Since MCD is acting in the anticlockwise direction, we have to apply a negative sign with the load. That is why we are getting a negative moment. Let us apply the value of MCD here. Then let us take minus 30 on the right side. So it will become positive. In this way, we can calculate MCB. In this analysis, we needed two equilibrium equations and we have formed them. The first equilibrium equation is MBA plus MBC is equal to zero. The second equilibrium equation is MCB is equal to 30 kN meter. Now let us make the fixed end moments. First, let us calculate the fixed end moments in the span AB. 
For that, we have to assume the span AB is a separate fixed beam. In the span AB, there is a point load 72 kN. It is acting on the center. The formula to calculate the fixed end moments are minus WL upon 8 and positive WL upon 8. MFAB is negative because it is acting in the anticlockwise direction. MFBA is positive because it is acting in the clockwise direction. Let us apply the values inside the formulas. W is 72, L is 4. When we apply the values, we are getting MFAB and MFBA. Now, let us calculate the fixed end moments in the span BC. In the span BC, there is UDL 24 kN per meter. It is acting for the full span. The formulas to calculate the fixed end moments are minus WL square upon 12 and positive WL square upon 12. Here, W is 24, L is 5. When we apply the values inside the formulas, we are getting M of BC and M of CB. Now, let us make the slope deflection equations. First, let us make the equations in the span AB. In these equations, let us apply the fixed end moments. Length of AB is 4 meter. Let us apply that. In the point A, there is a fixed support. In the fixed support, there will be no slope. So, theta A will be 0. Finally, in the span AB, we are making two equations. Now, let us make the slope deflection equations in the span BC. In these equations, let us apply the fixed end moments. Length of BC is 5 meter. Let us apply that. In this equation, let us make the first equilibrium equation. We know that MCB is equal to 30. Instead of MCB, let us apply 30. Then, let us take 50 on the left side. Then, let us add these two values. After adding, we are getting minus 20. This is our first equilibrium equation. We have made one equilibrium equation, but we need two. We already know that the second equilibrium equation can be made in the joint B. In the joint B, MBA plus MBC is equal to zero. We have already made the slope deflection equations for MBA and MBC. Let us apply them. After adding these two equations, we are making the second equilibrium equation. Now, we can use the calculator and solve these two equations. If you do not know how to solve two equations in the calculator, see the description below. There is a link. You can click the link and watch the video. After solving, we are getting E A theta B and E A theta C. When we apply the value of E A theta B in the equation number 1, we are getting M A B. When we apply the value of E A theta B in the equation number 2, we are getting M B A. Finally, when we apply the values of E A theta B and E A theta C in the equation number 3, we are getting M B C. In this analysis, we have calculated all of the moments. In this analysis, we have calculated all of the moments. Now, we are going to find the vertical reactions. First, let us take the span AB and calculate the vertical reactions. In the span AB, there are two moments. MAB, which is acting in the anticlockwise direction and MBA, which is acting in the clockwise direction. By taking moment about B, we can calculate RA. By applying the rule, sigma V is equal to 0, we can calculate RB1. Now, 
let us take the span BC and the overhanging span CD and calculate the vertical reactions. When we take these two spans together, no need to consider MCB and MCD, they will get eliminated because one is acting in the clockwise direction and one is acting in the anticlockwise direction. 30 minus 30, it will be 0. In this case, we have to consider only MBC, which is acting in the anticlockwise direction. By taking moment about C, I am calculating RV2. Then applying the rule, sigma V is equal to 0, I am calculating RC. Now let us add RB1 and RB2 so that we will get RB. Now we are going to make the shear force diagram. Before drawing the diagram, let us calculate the shear force values. I am moving towards right hand side. Upwards will be positive and downwards will be negative. Using the values, we can draw the shear force diagram. Now, using the loads, we can draw the free moment diagram. Using the end moments, we can draw the end moment diagram. Then, we have to combine the end moment diagram and the free moment diagram so that we will get the bending moment diagram. Now, we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.